man Hello, this is probably the first quad video that I've done. I'm S700KY um, because Spooky had gone. So S700KY was about the best I'd got. And that's what all the videos go up at. Now, the point of this video is I built a Rotorite 5 inch alien frame with all KISS stuff. Um, KISS flight controller, 24 amp ESCs, and I've managed to get it running D-Shot 600, so I'm really pleased with that. Now, I also wanted to put an OSD on it, so I put a Micro Minim OSD on the top of it, set it all up, and it worked absolutely perfectly. Um, got all the proper KISS stuff in the top left and right and bottom left and right corners, and it all worked super. But... When I went to test fly it, I was with D600, I was noticing a lot of noise on the video feed and above half throttle the Micro Minimo SD just went off, which wasn't great and then it wouldn't come back on again. So I've done a bit of reading and it says uh, about putting capacitors on the 5 volt input feed, but then things just start getting quite messy. I looked at putting a video filter on and that with the Micro Minim OSD which I'd got on a 3D printed tier at the top the build was starting to look messy so I wondered what I could do. The answer I found to this was buying an, a PDB with an OSD built into it and I will save you from looking at my face in my pyjamas any longer because I've been working and working and working trying to get this thing right and I've succeeded. So I will try and help you um, with what I've learned and I'll switch you over and get rid of my ugly mug so thanks. Right back again I haven't got any fancy equipment like you see some of these other reviewers have it's just me and my iPhone and this is my um, uh, Asus very very tiny 10 or 11 inch computer um, that I just used to throw in my backpack and take to the field with me. Now this is the board that I, uh, I purchased and I'll leave a link in the description below. This was from flyingtech.co.uk um, I'll show you the board now on the quad and this is the alien with the lid off and this is the PDB on top. From the master KISS PDB there I've just taken two wires straight up and straight in to the battery inputs of the flight, the, uh, the PDB. Then, from the RX and the TX of the KISS flight controller, I've then soldered those to the RX and TX on the PDB, which is down here. And I've brought the leads in from underneath because it's coming from the flight controller and it just kept it tidy. Then, my camera is being powered by the camera and my VTX is being powered obviously by the VTX. Now by doing it this way um, my ESCs and my um, receive, RX receiver are being run from the main PDB. The camera and the video transmitter is being run from the secondary PDB which has got a built-in on-screen display. That has proved for exceptionally clean video. Um, it, it's just absolutely perfect, no problem at all. The problem I then found putting KISS OSD onto this was it would come out on the screen in total and utter gobbledygook. And I hadn't got a clue and I've been sat up here now for three hours trying to work this out. 
and I've found out how to get it to display perfectly and I will share that with you now. So, there was the flight controller. I did a bit of reading and I come to this page which is github.com forward slash awolf78 forward slash kiss underscore osd forward slash wiki now if you can see my mouse moving around i think you can there um, i haven't used kiss v2 and i have got arduino 1.6.13 but basically this uh, part here is what i was doing wrong download the appropriate kiss osd unpack it Go to the MWOSD folder first, open the MWOSD INO and flash that to the Micro Minim OSD. Then select Arduino Pro, Pro Mini, and it'll tell you there. Um, zoom in, and you can pause, and that's what it's saying to set the board to. The point I found most interesting here was, even more important, now we need to connect a battery. The FTDI won't supply enough juice to flash the font properly. That is why MWOSD will do that after you plug the battery in. So I had a little bit of a try. Now, this OSD PDB has got a USB input there. so. When you've got everything wired up, and you've got your battery in, you've got your RX and your TX from your flight controller, and you've plugged your camera and your VTX in, plug the USB port into the computer. Once you are plugged into the computer, then, excuse the wobbly camera, open up your Arduino software, all the vendetta so open up Arduino I'm sorry this is real time so it's dragging on a little bit and I do apologise but trust me it will help you there we go now the first thing you need to do is run uh, where is it where is it where is it downloads. Run the EEPROM clear script which is that one and that will clear everything off the EEPROM so your OSD is fresh as a daisy and ready to rock and roll. Once you've cleared the EEPROM then go to MWOSD and I'm using version R1.16. Open that folder up. Open MWOSD. Open the MWOSD link. Wait for Arduino to open that. Now, when you go to config H, make sure that white spy v1 is selected not micro minimum osd which is the next one down but white spy v1 and then just write that to the board and then once that sketch is compiled and it's finished writing then come back out of there and go and open MWOSD. So when you open MWOSD, sorry again, this is lifetime. Okay, there we go. When you open MWOSD, go down to Font Tools and select, and then go to the folder that has got your KISS OSD in. 
there. And then select the KISS font. There. And then upload. Please select a port. Okay. It's not plugged in. But if you've selected your port from up here. And then you upload. It will go 1, 2, 3, half 256. And then it will upload the, the file. The most important thing which I did whilst doing all of this. And that was even flashing the MWOSD file here. I've got the flight battery plugged in. That is the main battery. So I've got me, tram, me receiver, or me transmitter, sorry, switched on. And the, flight, the, the quad is live. And whilst it's live, I've updated the MWOSD. I've then done the font upload through the MWOSD GUI. And then once that's done, then you can come back to the KISS OSD folder and just go open the KISS OSD and then straight dump that to the, the board. Once that's finished uploading you can close that down, pull your leads out, pull the battery out, and you are done. But just to show you, if I turn on the Tango, there we go, and plug in the flight battery. There you have the KISS OSD perfectly displayed on the screen without any gobbledygook and the tip was when you're uploading the fonts and doing anything else do it with the flight battery connected. I hope this video helps somebody as it spent me three hours it grieves me to say this, but please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for your time. I know this has been a long video. And good night. Happy. Fun. <laughs>